So we have a problem again, a pump follower mechanism. So this is used to convert the rotary motion of the pump. So this one, you have your rotary motion of the pump. So rotary motion of the pump of the shaft into an oscillating, we say oscillating, so that that is the movement up and down. No? Then, or reciprocating motion of the bulb, and you have also here the moment by by pushing the main uh, push rod. So we have, have a corresponding reaction here on the bulb for opening and closing the bulb. <clears throat> so the follower system consists of a push rod, mass and P, this one, and a rocker arm of mass R. You have your mass R of the rocker arm. And the mass moment of inertia about its center of gravity, we have here the center of gravity of the rocker arm, and a bulb of mass, bulb mass that this was supposed to be MB, and a bulb spring negligible mass. So find the equivalent uh, mass equivalent of this cup color system, assuming that the location of mass equivalent is a point A, so that will be somewhere here. And you have your point C, so uh, I think we have to solve only in the point A. So this record na natin ang point C. We focus only on the point A. <coughs> okay, so now, so for the <coughs> so the push rod, so so we have the kinetic energy of the push rod, so that will be key e of the push rod. So that is since the moment of the push rod that is a linear, no? Linear motion. So there is no other but linear motion up and down. <clears throat> so we have now one half mass of the push rod. Then we have the velocity of the push rod. Then you have squared. Now for the kinetic energy of the bulb. <clears throat> so this one. Okay. Yeah, bulb. So we will notice it is also a linear. So linear motion only. Now, so we can create the uh, write the kinetic energy of the uh, bulb. So that will be equal to one half mass of the bulb. Then we have the velocity of the bulb squared. Now, solving for the kinetic energy of the rocker arm. So, we have the kinetic energy of the rocker arm, R. So, we have a combination there, no? So, we have a rotational. Rotational. And, you will notice here, the center of the gravity. So, it will be moving up, up and down. So, from here, it is moving up and down, we have a linear motion. So rotational and linear, it is a combination. So we have now, that will be one half mass, uh, mass of the rocker arm. I'm oh, sorry, let's start with the... So this is the moment of inertia of the rocker arm. Then the angular velocity of the rocker arm squared plus one half so that will be the mass of mass of the rocker arm then we have the velocity of the rocker arm squared and we can interpret the movement of the rocker arm so I will be drawing a line here to interpret the motion. So it's like this, this. Then we have so here. So we have here the representation of the moment on rocker arm. So it is displaced by theta r, the angle, and also the same here that is opposite. Then we have the center of the gravity, which has a length L3, and we have L1 length center to the movement of the push rod. 
that is L1 and L2 from the center movement of the bulb. Okay. So we can uh, um, from here we can write a trigonometric uh, relationship. So we have your tangent, no? So that will be tangent of theta r. So that will be equal to your x over l sub 1. Or this will be equal to xp over the l sub 1. And for small angle, uh, small angle movement, uh, we use the <coughs> small angle of transformation. So we have now your theta r. That will be equal to x over l sub 1. It's also xp over the x sub 1. No? And our xp, our xp that will be, so deriving it from, that can be expressed as theta r l sub 1. Or our xp with okay, l sub 1. And we have another one for tangent of theta r that will be equal to moment of x sub bulb. So this is now your x of v divided by the L2. So you can rewrite it, it in among x of bulb. We have your L sub 2. And also we have tangent of theta r which is equal to the x uh, for this uh, <coughs> xr. So this is x b x sub bulb. So do we have another one is xr divided by your L sub 3. So ito yun. So, from the center of the gravity naman for the rocker arm. Or we can rewrite our equation xr or theta r is equal now to your xr divided by your L3 and <coughs> can be rewrite as your xr is equal now your theta theta r l3 where our, our x sub r the value of theta r so that will be x by l sub 1 times the l sub 3 okay. we'll be using this equation now so I'm gonna box it to be current time uh, Little. Okay. Then we have x sub bulb. So we have the x sub bulb will be theta r l sub 2. So we have your x sub bulb that will be x over l sub 1 l sub 2. Now for the xp, you know that the xp, so to compute the, uh, for this, the velocity for the xp, so this will be over, over by your time equal to the velocity. Or the velocity of the p, that will be x over, over the time so it's also equal to your p now the total kinetic energy of the system is equal to now your uh, one half mass of the bulb velocity of the bulb squared then plus um, ma this is for sure that ma there's also one half mass of the bulb, velocity of the bulb squared, then plus 
the rocker arm that will be one half um, moment of inertia of the rocker arm then the angular mo, uh, mo, uh, angular velocity of the, the rocker arm squared plus the one half mass of the bulb I mass of the rocker arm sorry then velocity of the rocker arm squared so that will be the total kinetic energy now our main goal is to equate this one to the uh, kinetic energy equivalent that will be the mass equivalent since we are looking this is one half mass equivalent then we have the velocity squared so equating that one to this one so we have one half mass equivalent velocity squared that will be equal to so it will equal to the total kinetic energy now so cancel the common we have this is one cancel the one half cancel cancel in cancel out okay so what we have now is the mass equivalent then we have the velocity squared then mass of the push uh, push rod so we have the velocity of the push rod which is the velocity of the push rod can be uh, where it is equal to kanina velocity of the push rod is equal to b so this will become b squared plus mass of the bulb then we have the velocity of the bulb velocity of the bulb will be equal to so we have the arrangement nung kanina velocity of the bulb uh, v bar of the bulb so we have so for the velocity of the bulb we have velocity of the bulb is equal to displacement of the bulb v x b over time where is equal to where the value of your x r that will be x over l sub 1 then l sub 3 over time or velocity of the bulb is now equal to v uh, this is l sub 2 sorry this is l sub 2 v l sub 2 l sub 1 so we have now the velocity of the bulb so substituting that one in our equation here so we have we have b l sub 2 divided by l sub 1 is raised to square then plus uh, the moment of inertia of the rocker arm then we have the angular uh, uh, okay, angular motion uh, angular velocity now for the angular velocity so let's try to now for the angular velocity so we have the arrangement you have the uh, So the angular position that will be equal to your angular uh, angular position of the rocker arm, then the angular the angular velocity of the rocker arm times time. So since we're looking for the angular to replace that one, so we can write that the angular velocity is equal to theta of re, uh, angular position divided by your time, where your theta uh, angular position is in theta at this one the body will be x over the l sub 1 so so nakuha ito so going back here so ito siya nakuha so x over l sub 1 since meron tayong t dito so this is v over uh, x over t that will be equal to velocity 
L sub 1. So substitute that one in the equation, the value of angular velocity, so that will be B over the L sub 1. So this is a squared. No? Then plus the value of your mass of the rocker arm. Now the, the velocity of the uh, rocker arm, VR. So for the velocity of the rocker arm is equal to the x sub r over time. Now the value of x sub x sub r. So going back here, the value of x sub r. So we have x l three l one. So substitute that one. <coughs> that will be x l sub three divided by the L sub 1, then you have time. Now your velocity of the rocker arm, that will be B, L sub 3, divided by the L sub 1. So, okay. We have now the velocity, then let's substitute that one to the equation. So this will become B L sub 3 divided by the L sub 1 squared. Now, cancel in common that is equation. So we cancel, cancel, cancel. This one also cancels. This will be squared and this one also is cancel. So finally, we have the mass equivalent is equal to the mass of the push rod plus mass of the valve L2 L1 square plus the moment of inertia of the uh, of the rocker arm then 1 over L sub 1 square plus mass of the rocker arm times L3 L1 square Now we become the answer to the problem. So this is now the answer. So let's have a quick overview.